everyone, we're going to prove the identity hyperbolic cosine of x plus y equals uh, the given information here. We're going to start on this side, um, on the right hand side of the equation, and make it look like uh, this side of the equation using our definitions of uh, hyperbolic functions. So starting from this side, I'm going to write uh, my uh, hyperbolic cosine of uh, x and then uh, y. So this is going to be uh, equal to 1 half and I'm just instead of the 2 I'm bringing the 1 half out. So for x we're going to have e to the x power plus e to the negative x power and then this is times 1 half and then we have to do the y part so you just copy it down but with y. So that's that part, and then we have a plus, and now we do the same thing with sine. Uh, with sine, it's uh, the same thing, but it has a minus. So that's going to be uh, 1 half times e to the uh, y power. No, that's x goes first, so x plus uh, minus e to the negative x. and then times one half and write the same thing down but with a y. All right. Now what we can do is we have one half times one half and then one half times one half. So that's one fourth. I can factor out a one fourth and then I'm going to uh, multiply these two together e to the x power plus e to the negative x power times e to the y power uh, plus e to the negative y power and then we have the plus and then multiply these two together so that's e to the x minus e to the negative x power times e to the y power minus e to the negative y power now when you we, what we're going to do is multiply this and use distributive property or the FOIL method. So basically when you're multiplying e to the x times e to the power of y, that's going to be e to the x plus y. So I'm just going to expand both of these, put a little bracket there, and that's going to give us one fourth, and then we're going to have e to the power of x plus y plus e to the power of x minus y plus e to the power of negative x plus y plus e to the power of negative x minus y. All right, then we have our plus and we do the same thing for with our sine part, this part. So this is going to be e to the power of x plus y minus e to the power of x minus y minus e to the power of negative x plus y uh, plus e to the power of negative x minus y. Now let's see what we have. Let's close this up. All right. <coughs> we have two of these. Um, these are the same, but they are uh, cancel out the zero property. These are the same, but we have a plus and a minus, so these cancel out. So we're left with one fourth, and we have two of these, and we have two of these. All right. So basically, I can factor out the two, so I'm going to get my one half. Then we have e to the x plus y power plus e to the uh, negative x, I'm going to do this, negative x plus y. So if you let this part be like your uh, u uh, part, then that looks exactly like our hyperbolic function of cosine. So basically this is just going to equal our hyperbolic cosine of x plus y. If you plug this in to this equation, you will get this. So we proved our identity. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.